guys, my name is Ryan Jama. I'm 25 years old and I've been a personal trainer for the past five years. Um, I'm originally from Estonia, which is a northeastern European country. I grew up playing all sorts, sorts of sports. Um, soccer was my favorite. Um, I was also in my high school track team, volleyball team. I did swimming from when I was five up until 14, and I still kind of do it. I uh, participate in triathlons, mud runs to this day, and I love everything about health and fitness. And since I'm a personal trainer, my work is involved in creating change in people's lives towards being healthier, being more fit, um, accomplishing whatever their fitness goals are, whatever their health goals are, weight loss goals, etc., etc. <clears throat> a lot of people come to me because how they were brought up, how they were raised, um, maybe they were raised on fast food, maybe they weren't really pushed towards sports or um, their parents weren't really into that sort of thing so they never picked it up. And when they get older, in their 30s and 40s, all they do is sit all day for you know eight hours doing their office job. They never move, they eat crappy fast food. Next thing you know, um, they wind up with diabetes, heart disease, uh, they can't breathe once they reach the top of a flight of stairs. And uh, it's my job to help them deal with these issues and get better in fitness and in life in general. <clears throat> so, all of them pretty much have the same question like, how do I get healthier? What do I do? How do I change myself? How do I change my life? And uh, what I do is I take a step-by-step -step approach because the fact of life is you can't change everything at once. You need to start with small steps, one day at a time, to create change. If you uh, try to do all the diet, all your fitness regimen, all your sleep schedule, try to change it all at once, you end up with just like a catastrophe in your brain and you shut down and just go back to where you came from. And that's what happens to 90, 95% of the people who make New Year's resolutions, like, oh, you know, 2015 is coming up. And I guarantee you, January 1st, everybody and their moms is gonna be at the gym, like, this is my year, I'm gonna change myself. And two weeks goes by, no one's there. Only 8% of the people who make New Year's resolutions to change actually make it. So, you might ask, how do I do it? And the solution is, like I said earlier, small step. Make short-term goals that you know you can reach. Let's say Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, I'm gonna run one mile, right? Once you get in the habit of doing that, let's say you do that for two weeks. Now, you take another goal, you're like, I'm gonna eat less sugar. I'm gonna drink two sodas less a day rather than the three that I have today, I'll have one instead. Now you create um, better nutritional habits and from then on you build on that. Now you're introducing vegetables. Now you're cutting down on your carbs, you're increasing your protein that way. You're eating the same amount of calories, but the calories from protein help you build muscle, help you get better at, let's say, going to the gym Tuesdays and Thursdays on top of your Monday, Wednesday, and Friday running. Now you build muscle, you lose fat, your metabolism gets better, um, and the, at the end of the day, that's all you're playing with, it's your metabolism. If you get your metabolism in check, which is less sugar, more protein, more vegetables, and a regimen of working out for at least 30 minutes, five days a week, that's your program for success. Thank you for listening. My name is Ryan Jama. Hope you take my advice and hope 2015 is your year. Cool.